do now is some colouring. So I'm going to look, should we do some skin? Do you know, I, I think I'm going to, I know it's a little bit of a hard one to start with or a harder one to start with. Now I'm just reaching for my stick and spray. But um, I love the fact that, well, one of the things that most of you say is I really struggle with colouring skin. Please, can you help me out with that, Leanne? Well, with our fair and dark skin set that we've got here, it's going to make that ridiculously and super easy for you. So I'm going to, I've, um, what's the word? Stick and spray, that's the word, my stamped my rocker block. And I'm going to be using my fair skin markers to colour her face. And I want to show you how easy that is for you to achieve with these fabulous pens. So first, before I colour her in, I need to ink her up. And if you're wondering which ink pads you need to use with your alcohol markers, this is the ink pad that you need. This is our finesse alcohol proof dye based ink developed specifically for Crafters Companion. It's proprietary formula for us. We're the only company who does an ink pad specifically for alcohol colouring. And that's for any, 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 any alcohol marker out there, not just Crafters Companion. So I'm going to ink up this stamp with my finesse alcohol proof. So if you are getting alcohol markers or if you're an alcohol colourist with other alcohol markers, this is the ink pad you need. So I'm going to do lots and lots of light tapping. Just get a good application of ink down. Finesse are fantastic because you get beautiful, fine, crisp lines um, and beautiful, not, not thick, blurry, horrible lines at all. Just lovely, finessed, crisp lines um, with your inks here. And also, they will not blur, smudge, move. You will just get beautiful uh, alcohol colouring immediately you start working with it, which is fantastic so this is definitely what you need with your alcohol markers so i've got that inked up really well i should probably stand up but i'm just going to see if i can do this from a standing run up oh, can i do this from a standing run up well yes because i've got the best ink pad in the business look at that how gorgeous clean and precise is that gorgeous finesse lines okay now, the other thing that's really important for you, notice I've got a little wad of copy paper and my little spill off before there. Um, really important when you're colouring with alcohol markers that you don't colour directly onto your table, directly onto a craft mat, directly onto a glass mat, that you colour on some porous scrap paper underneath. And as we colour this in, I'll explain why as we go, you will get better results. So I'm going to look at the colours I've got here and see which ones I need. I need my FS6. So I've got that stored here, FS6. I need my FS7, there's FS7, which is linen. And then I also need my FS9, come to me FS9, there you are there. So I need FS9 and then I also need my, I'm gonna have some blush, so I'm gonna have some FS4 in my life. Here we are, and I might have a bit of FS3, there we are. So there's my markers, they're all from this Fair Skin Collection. I just haven't opened this packet. No need to be wasteful. I want to keep that nice because I've got all of my markers beside me. So I've just took out the markers I need. And I'm going to start with the lightest colour, which is my FS6. And that is the cream colour. So I've got my two nibs. I've got my chisel and I've got my lovely, precise, soft bullet. And all I'm going to do is with circular motions, get some ink down onto this face. And then I'll be able to show you um, what it comes like. Now, you will have heard me talk many times about how and where to apply ink uh, for shade and for light. And with the bundle, I've done a DVD to show you how to colour with alcohol markers, how to build depth and dimension. I show you how to colour beautiful skin. And you've got all of that tuition in that bundle as well. So if you think this is a little bit quick tonight, then in the bundle, you're getting the DVD, which is absolutely full of tutorials and explains in detail and depth for you where to put the ink to build that natural light and shade. So I'm preserving my highlight in the centre of her face. I'm then going to take my darkest colour and my darkest colour is going to be my FS3. So this is the one um, which is a bit more uh, intense for the face colour around the outside. So I'm taking my FS3 and I'm colouring just around the outside of the face there, over the top of that first layer of lighter ink that I put down. 
So I'm just extending the colour out into the centre of the face, but still preserving my highlight there. Not coming all over the centre of the face at all. And the reason I did my first layer of lightest colour first is because wet ink blends much better than dry ink. So now I've done my second layer and now my middle colour, which is my FS7, comes up to that, to the edge of that colour I've just put on there, little small circular motions and brings it out further into my preserved highlight, but starts to build that lovely colour dimension and natural shape to the face as I move those colours out. And then I take my next one, which is ivory, um, and that is the second from lightest colour. I come a little bit further in on the face there. And then when I've done that, I'm back to my first colour, which was the lightest colour. And that's my cream, which was FS6. And then I just bring those blends together, go over where I preserved my highlight. And I've got a beautiful, I'm bringing it up to show you. I'm going forward. Here I am coming up. There we go. And you can see that beautiful colour on the skin. Now what I'm going to do is her cheek. So for her cheek, I'm going to use the blush, which is FS4 and helpfully called blush. To chisel in her cheek, I'm just going to do a little triangle. And don't forget, I include all of this information on the DVD for you in that bundle. I've done the little triangle for the cheek. I want to soften it. So I go to the next colour down, which was my FS3. That was FS4. FS3 lets me soften that edge there, which brings that cheek in beautifully. And then just to soften that a little bit more, I go with my cream around there in seconds flat. And I've now got a beautiful chiselled face. Look how lovely, I'm coming up to you, I'm coming up to you, I'm coming up to you. Look how fabulous that is there. Right, so that's how easy these markers are to colour with. And I want to do her lips. So let's pick, I'm just going to put these back because, do you know, are any of you like me? Do you have a place for everything and everything in its place? I can't cope if things aren't put back where they belong. So now I'm returning all of my pens to their rightful position in the storage. And when you've got trays like this, and when you've got a carrier bag as fabulous as this, you can return your pens where they need to be and keep yourself incredibly organised. Now, what colour lips should we have? Should we have a nice bright pink lip or a red lip? What should we do? Let's go a nice bright pink. I'm going to go with, oh, I'm going to go with Carmine. I'm going to have a bit of BP5 in my life. And I'm going to have a little bit of BP1, which is in fact here. Brilliant. Right, so I've got this fabulous... Um, detailed chisel nib which is Japanese don't forget and so to do her lips what I can do is with that lovely little chisel is just put the darker colour in the corners that's the darkest colour like that and then with the lightest colour the next colour down so I've got BP5 there this is my BP1 I can just blend that out into the centre of her lip and which gives me that lovely dimension really naturally. So I get that lovely movement on her lips there. Look how gorgeous that is. And her face looks amazing. Could not be more simple for you to do. That's how easy these markers are to use when you're colouring in.